it's really difficult to explain or having to explain to people that I don't really have that I don't have a British accent what I might have is a colonial British accent a British colonial accent a British colonial accent is a pattern of speech or a British colonial pattern of speech it's a pattern of speech where of people who were born and raised in lands that had been former British colonies and I was born and raised in a couple of British colonies, former British colonies. I really prefer to know or believe that I have a Pan American a Pan American pattern of speaking speaking English because of the many places that I've been to and worked in but with um heavy influences from British colonial sources. So everyone has an accent. So mine is not so different from from yours, right? So I'm also really uh, bemused amused or bemused by many people in this country who would simply associate a pattern of speech with which they are unfamiliar or in this country a pattern of speech with you are not familiar with as a British accent anything, any accent that you find peculiar you will say, hey, it's a British accent, which is kind of amusing and silly. Peculiarly, there was once a man who said that he was born and raised in London, but who speaks with a very American pattern of speech or accent with slight some slight British elements but has never been but to this date has never been back to London for thirty years. And he came and asked me and asked me, Are you from London? I think that um, that someone who's been out of touch with London should not have the qualification to judge whether I have a London accent, which I don't. I think he's lost touch with London for so many years that he has no qualification to say that I have a London accent. I haven't been to London but once in my lifetime, just once in my lifetime. It's a really enjoyable place and the way that they speak over there has no semblance to the way I speak. So anyway, I know that uh, many people say, or in fact most people who do not understand us as being autistic people, tend to say that we pick up on accents or patterns of speech very easily and then reproduce those, those patterns of speech without understanding the 
emotional or psychological implications or background to those speeches. We would simply reproduce a certain pattern of speech out of the blue, which is incongruent to the situation at hand, and that we do not understand the pattern of speech that we are reproducing. Which I would like to tell you, normal people, that you are wrong. Is that you, normal people, have mapped a certain pattern of speech to certain emotional background, and we, who are born outside your normal emotional box outside your box and when and when we pick up on certain pattern of speech we remap it to our own emotional and mental states some people say that we don't have emotions which may be true but actually it's not true we do have emotions but our emotions are distinctly different. We have a different emotional structure which you normal people find unusual or divergent from what is normal. So when we reproduce a pattern of speech, we do have deliberate intentions to express our mental states that we are that we have mapped those mental states to the nuances of certain patterns of speech. And to us there is it is not strange or incongruent. It is there that whatever we want to express is right in that pattern of speech. You just find it unusual because your mental mapping is different from mine. So you can't say that my um, that I do not understand the pattern of speech that I reproduce. You cannot say that. You cannot. It is really insensitive that you normal people say that I do not understand the pattern of speech that I reproduce. It's very, tough. I think it's offensive because you say you are saying that we that I am, I am a dumbo. That I I my mind is empty. That I do not understand what I'm doing. It is kind of offensive. You just, to me, I see it the same way, you know, that I see the pattern of speech of normal humans as incongruent. Why would you use such a pattern of speech for such an, uh, a, a mental state? Or such a an emotional background. Why I don't. But I I I I learned that well. I don't. I used to question it when I was young. I used to find that a lot of the people around me, the the way they speak is, the way they express is different from this unnecessarily. Um, not unnecessarily is. It's a mismatch with the situation that I see. That I would not have said things or expressed things in such a pattern because it does not match the mental state or emotional background that is at hand. So too, I see that you normal people do not understand what you are saying. So, but. As I, as I grew older, as I've grown older, 
I've learned not to question. I've taken it for granted that, yep, I don't find the way people speak as most people speak as as matching to their emotional states. So I'm saying that you normal people should not say that I don't understand what I'm that I don't understand the pattern of speech that I'm reproducing. I can't change the way I spell those words like color for example. C O L U R that's how I have to spell it. I can't change the way I pronounce many words. I can't change my grammatical structure because they have been my emotional foundation. They have been the foundation of my mental states which I've built from young and and I can't change them. Not that I can't change them. I can, but I would have to spend another 10 years rebuilding my emotional and mental framework, which I can't afford the time. I can't afford to do that. Why would I want to spend another 10 years of uncertain communication ability just so that I could satisfy people who are not happy with the way I pronounce and the way I spell. I'm getting old. I need to enjoy my life. 